out of all the European countries, Romania is the one that has been recommended to me the most. Although it may not attract the same amount of tourists as the more popular European destinations, people that do visit can't stop going on about what Romania has to offer. So when Olivia and I were invited to the wedding of two of our friends in Romania's capital city, Bucharest, we jumped at the opportunity to extend the visit into a road trip around this fascinating country. Our road trip began in the northern Maramuras region. We really had no idea what to expect from this place. It's quite far from the tourist trail and subsequently rather isolated, meaning that century-old traditions are still a part of daily life. So it's our first day in Romania today and I've woken up feeling a little bit under the weather, but we have just arrived in Barsana Monastery and just the tranquility of this religious site is giving me all the healing that I truly need and more. The wooden churches of the Maramuras are some of the most picturesque churches in the world. Eight churches in the region are listed UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We visited Barsana Church, built in 1720, its interior walls covered in a colourful Baroque mural. We next stopped off at Siget Prison, about 20 kilometres northwest of Basana, which has now been turned into a memorial museum for Romania's victims of communism. Our final bit of sightseeing for the day was a cemetery. I know what you're thinking, how doom and gloom. But the Merry Cemetery in San Pata was quite the opposite. 800 brightly coloured crosses paying homage to their deceased with a humorous poem and image, usually depicting their profession, their hobbies, or how they died. Or if you were buried in the Merry Cemetery and someone drew a picture of you and your profession, what would it look like? Me in stripes, with like a little video camera, you can see that. Yeah, that's quite cute. I'm finding it quite depressing because all I can picture is just me standing in front of a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> not great. <laughs> as well as fantastic culture, the Maramuras also boasts some incredible nature. On day two, we hiked up the most iconic natural landmark of the Maramuras, Christa Kokosului. It is roughly a 14 kilometre round trip in length to reach this spectacular jagged ridge and the path is quite clearly laid out. However, Olivia and I still managed to get lost on the way down and before we knew it, we were unintentionally scaling a mountain with no one around other than the birds flying above us and the threat of bears waiting for us at the bottom. As long as we just talk really loudly, the bears will be scared of us, okay? Okay. The next day we waved farewell to the Maramuras and drove five hours south to Sigisura, a charming little town famously known as the birthplace of Dracula. Although incredibly beautiful, we found there wasn't too much to do here. So after two hours of admiring our quaint surroundings, we drove slightly further south to the Saxon village of Viscri where well, we had booked accommodation for the night at Viscri Barn, a haven in the middle of the Transylvanian countryside. While Viscri is a wonderful place to sit back and watch the very tranquil world go by, you simply cannot miss the fortified church. So we've gone up to the tower in the Viscri fortified church, which is one of many churches in Transylvania that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's really delightfully quiet <laughs> and one key reason for this is they've intentionally chosen not to pave the road leading up to this to stop the tour buses. Potentially not great for business but great for us so I'm not complaining. <laughs> 
When we first arrived in the car rental place in Romania, a man warned me that I'd struggle with the roads here. But I have to say, I think driving here is one of my favourite things about this fascinating country, and there was no road more fun to drive on than the trans Garrison Highway. Liv, what's it like so far driving on the trans Garrison? Um, I'm having a great time. Um, I haven't driven in seven years, so really jumping straight back into the deep end with this one. Are you looking forward to the sheer, sheer drops? That we are you about to again. Oopsie! More than 150 kilometres in length, the Transfer Garrison Highway is Romania's most spectacular road. We took a detour on our way to Brasov just so we could admire the views from its 2,000 metre altitude. The city of Brasov was our next destination, described often as the perfect gateway to discover Transylvania. One of the most famous sites you can visit here is Bran Castle, 25 kilometers southwest of Brasov. So behind me is the queue for one of Romania's top tourist destinations, Bran Castle. The reason it's so popular is because of the association with it being Dracula's castle, of course, from the novel. However, we read on Wikipedia earlier that actually the author never actually went to Romania and the castle you see behind me actually bears no resemblance to the castle in the book. So I think on this occasion we'll be skipping it. Rather than putting ourselves through the touristic hell of Dracula's lair, we opted to have lunch at a beautiful restaurant five minutes down the road called D.O.R. If you find yourself in the area, I thoroughly recommend. As well as Brasov being the gateway to Transylvania, it's also a great base to visit the Carpathian Mountains home to 60% of Europe's brown bear population. Olivia and I had booked a tour to go and view them from a lookout point in the forest, which kind of felt like cheating, but rather that than accidentally running into them on a footpath. Our exploration of the Carpathians did not stop there. The following day, we hiked the Seven Ladders Canyon, a nine kilometer hike through a narrow gorge famous for its tumbling waterfalls and seven vertical ladders. So we are halfway through the Seven Ladders hike, which essentially is seven incredibly ugly ladders amongst this gorgeous gorge, no pun intended. I was sad to leave Brasov. We could have easily stayed there for another few days, but alas, we had to get to Bucharest for the wedding we'd both been waiting for. We spent our last day in Romania visiting Bucharest's Contemporary Museum of Art and then treating ourselves to a very contemporary meal at The Artist. Comparing the end of our trip to how it started, 10 days in Romania truly felt like 100 years through time. <laughs>